Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little pack with me. I am going to New York next week for about 10 days, which is quite a long time to be honest, but we're going Friday night and then I'll be back Sunday. This is everything that I'm planning on bringing skincare, makeup, hair care, and yeah, I am planning on doing a different video for the clothing that I'm gonna bring, but this is all of the skincare, hair care, makeup essentials. So I hope you guys are having a good day today. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And let's just hop into it. This looks like a lot. Not all of this is going to go in the skincare bag specifically, but I just wanted to take you guys through all of the maintenance stuff that I wanted to bring. So there's body care, skincare, shampoo and conditioner, as well as some like hair things, and then obviously toothbrush, toothpaste, the works. So the first thing that I am going to be bringing is my Dyson Airwrap. I'm only bringing two of the attachments just the normal blow dryer attachment and then the long barrel that is part of the newer like this the second gen i just bought the long barrel because i mean i have all of the attachments for the original one but this is nice especially for traveling because then i don't have to carry around two different attachments and it's the long one so it'll wrap around all of my hair i just have a couple of sectioning clips just in case i need them keeping up with hair care i'm only bringing a few different things the first thing is this not your mother's clean freak dry shampoo it's fine it's just a nice little mini size so it's nice for like traveling because i don't have to worry about carrying around a big thing this is the bumble and bumble hairdressers invisible oil this is my heat protectant of choice this is a little mini size of it as well i have the full size of this too and i'm about like halfway done with that but it's again it's just nice to have heat protectant and the mini size as well the last hair thing i'm bringing is the moroccan oil hair oil again just a little mini size as far as body care i'm keeping it pretty simple i have my kp bump eraser body scrub i am gonna put this along with my shower stuff because i don't want it to like get everywhere so i'll just toss it there for now and then these two are from necessaire i bought this in a kit a while ago and it came with the body wash as well but i finished the body wash and i still have these two to work my way through this is the necessary the body serum i finished up a full size of this already so this is a little travel size of it and then this is the necessary the body lotion which is a perfectly good body lotion i don't think i would necessarily pick up the full size i don't think it's like absolutely amazing but i have the set so i'm gonna bring both these are my normal toiletry things just my toothbrush toothpaste this one is like almost empty so i'm bringing another mini toothpaste as well floss mouthwash also just some standards q-tips and then aquaphor for my lips and just if i'm feeling like a little extra dry in any place and it is nice and small let's talk about shower stuff so i have these two from olaplex this is the number four and number five which is their shampoo and conditioner these are about up to here so a little bit less than halfway done i want to use these up i just did not think that i was going to be able to make this last a full 10 days so bringing these but as a backup i'm bringing these from kristen s this is the one signature shampoo and conditioner these are little travel sizes again they're good i like these i have used both and this is just in case i run out of this which i'm assuming i will now this is where i'm feeling a little bit excessive i don't think i need it to completely full body washes so i am gonna put the olay one back and i'm just gonna take this one from salt air this is San santal bloom serum body wash i've never tried this before but the packaging looks nice it smells nice yeah i think it looks kind of fancy and i want to just feel more luxurious i don't know and then the last shower thing is the kp bump eraser like i said it's just a really good exfoliant i like that it's in a squeezy tube because it is great for traveling and then i have a bunch of things for skincare the first thing is this cleansing balm from verse this is the day dissolve cleansing balm i have never tried this this is also a little mini size of it so i will get my thoughts on this trip but i just really like that it was so small 
The only other like small cleansing balm I have is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm and I still feel like that's like a little bit too big. So it's just nice to have a smaller size cleansing balm. If I run through this entire cleansing balm, I'll just reuse this container and like shovel more in there because I, I just like how nice and small it is and I feel like this is definitely enough for 10 days. Also bringing a mini of the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I like that this is a twist top because I feel like all of the little mini sizes of this have the cap that you can push open and I feel like that always spills everywhere. This is a travel container but this is filled with the Bioma Brightening Toner. I used up the full bottle but I had sprayed a I had poured a bunch into this spray bottle for when I'm traveling, so this is just the rest of that. I'm trying to use it all up. I don't think I'll be able to use it all up in this trip, but I do have it. I am going to try and use it. This is the Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I have tried this a couple of times. I like it well enough, but I haven't really noticed a full difference in my skin. That is probably because I don't use this super consistently and I think you're supposed to to really notice the difference. I just wanted a nice hydrating serum and this is again just a little mini size which is nice. A lot of these things you've seen before so this is the Coco Kind Revitalizing Eye Cream. It has the metal tip applicator which is really nice and cooling and this is a really good eye cream. Very hydrating. I also have the Inculus Caffeine Eye Cream. I've had this for so long. There is not a ton left in here, so I'm gonna try and use this up. I also have this, the Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum. I like it well enough, and I like that it's a two-in-one, so I don't have to carry around different things. This next thing is from No. This is the Rejuvenating Night Serum. I've talked about this in the past. This is pretty old at this point, but it's a way for me to get a little bit of retinoids in here. And it's a like an oil consistency, so I don't feel like it's super heavy on my skin, so. I like this enough, but I really only use this in my like travel bag. I also have this from Hero Cosmetics. This is the Pimple Correct Acne Clearing Gel Pen. Just another little spot treatment for when I have acne that I have like acne scars for. The moisturizer that I'm bringing is this one from Innis Free. This is the Green Tea Seed Hyaluronic Acid Cream. I think I'm about like halfway done with this. There is still quite a lot of product in here, but it's a really good moisturizer. I like the scent of it. It is fragranced, but I do like like it it feels nice on my skin and it doesn't feel too hydrating or too oily so i like that a lot and then the last thing i'm bringing is this sunscreen this is from cancel sun this is the skincare moisture base aq spf 40 Two, PA++++. i really like this it's really lightweight also the tube is just really small so i like traveling with it because it uh it really doesn't take up a lot of space whatsoever. And then the bag that I'm going to be bringing is my base bag once again. Um, I'm gonna put all of my skincare and hair care and stuff down here. This top part, I have been putting my makeup and then all of my brushes and stuff are in this little top hanging section. One thing I do wanna make sure happens is that I put all of the products that are going to be easily spilled in here so anything that has like one of these flip lids i always it always ends up spilling for me so i'm gonna put these in here basically all of the shower stuff i'm gonna put in here and this bag is just some random like toiletries clear bag that i have and I'm gonna put this in the back here. Now that this is in here though, I'm a little bit worried that it's not all gonna fit. So we're gonna we're gonna try our best. I'm gonna put the hair stuff up here because it's technically like a different section. And then that already takes up kind of the whole thing, doesn't it? Okay, let's see if I can finagle this. I think I'll be able to. I think I can make it work. I also have this pack of Hero Cosmetics early stage blemishes on it. There's only two left in here, but that is gonna have to be enough. This might be a tight fit with my makeup as well, but I guess let's uh, try to pack the makeup first before deciding. Okay, so I kind of just dumped everything 
that I wanted to bring makeup wise on to my bed. I'm going to try and organize this, but I just wanted to run through all the products really quickly. Most of these you've already seen. Most of these items are in my project pan or shop my stash. So it's not, I mean, nothing here should be super surprising. For primer, I'm bringing my Fiv Skin Nova in my project pan. I really like it, to be honest. It's nice and glowy without being too glowy and it has a nice like tacky feel to it for base products i am bringing a couple i'm bringing my dior forever skin glow and dior forever skin correct concealer the foundation and the concealer are both in the shade to warm olive both of these are in my shop my stash right now the other complexion product i'm bringing is from merit this is the minimalistic i have mine in the shade sand this is in my project pan i've been working on it for quite some time now really just want to try and make more use out of this bronzer contours i'm bringing my elf halo glow beauty wand this is in the shade light medium and this is also in my shop my stash honestly like this a lot a lot and i think i like this more than the charlotte tilbury contour wand which is crazy because this is so much cheaper this is the nabla skin bronzing in the shade soft revenge it's a cooler toned powder like on my skin it doesn't look too orange i really like this and this is in my project pan i feel like i'm getting really close to hitting pan on this i feel like i see the waffling underneath but i've said that for quite a while now and uh i still have not hit pan on it so just waiting i think this is one of my favorite like bronzer powders though for blush i have a couple different options here the euphoria bbio blush oil in the shade chemical reaction is in my project pan right now i really like this to be honest i like the cool pink but i know not everyone loves like the ph changing cool pink and i like the formula i think it's really lightweight um and glowy as well and then the two blushes that i'm bringing are in my shop my stash right now the dior rosy glow blush in the shade 001 pink obviously stunning stunning blush and then also the ColourPop forever yours press powder blush the packaging of this is a little bit bulky to be honest it's a little bit hard to like pack around it but i love this blush so much it is such a pretty color and it's not like too pigmented so i never feel like i'm going overboard with it i have quite a few different lip products this nyx suede matte lip liner in the shade soft spoken is in my project pan i'm getting really close to being done with this I am also taking the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in the shade Honey Beige. I just wanted a more like brownie toned leaning liner for New York. Clinique Almost Lipstick in the shade Black Honey. I'm so close to being done with this. This is in my Shop My Stash. And then the Kaja Gloss is currently in my Project Pan. I'm working my way through it. And then the Tower 28 Lip Gloss in the shade Spicy is one of my favorites. This is such a pretty color and you know, it adds a little bit of brightness without feeling too intense because you can really sheer it out and it it looks like intense in the tube but on my lips it looks perfect i love this gloss so much the tower 28 formula is really really good and then i'm also bringing my laneige lip glow balm just to have another lip balm for a highlighter i'm bringing my lila b highlighter this is in my project pan working my way through it i have a couple different brow products the glossier boy brow when i want a little bit of a tint the nyx lift and snatch brow pen in the shade espresso the boy brow i have in the shade black and then the refi brow sculpt this is one of my favorite like clear brow gels i feel like it holds up my brows really really well for powder i'm just bringing my rare beauty setting powder in the shade light medium this is in my project pan right now for mascara i'm not sure what i want to bring i don't think i'm going to bring the Cleo Kill Last just because I don't really want to bring the remover for it as well. So I'm going to bring my Heroin Make Curl Keep Mascara Base and my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. The Thrive Cosmetics one is in the shade Crystal, which is a black brown, but it's pretty much black for me. I don't wear lashes very often, but I feel like maybe I would want some in New York. So I'm bringing this little set. These are the Ardell double up like individual lashes and then i'm bringing my duo lash glue i'm also bringing this little tiny like travel size of the urban decay all nighter it's such a good setting spray and i like how small the packaging is the last makeup thing i'm bringing is my victoria beckham lid luster in the shade chiffon just a very pretty eyeshadow topper as far as makeup tools i don't want to bring a ton for base i'm bringing my real techniques 081 brush this is just a flat top brush for cream contour i'm bringing the real techniques 084 um this came in the same set but they're both just really good brushes 
Also from Real Techniques, this is the 071 brush. It's a dual fiber blush brush. I like to use this for cream and liquid blushes. This brush is from Persona. This one side is the highlighter side and the other side is the blush side. I use the highlighter side for my highlight and then for powder blush, I like to use the blush side. This is my Refer 05 brush. I use this for my powder contour. It's just nice and fluffy, so I feel like it really gives a diffused look. And then for actual like setting powder, I'm bringing the e.l.f. highlighting brush. It's really just a fluffy, big fluffy brush that I like to use for powder. Lash separator, this one I think is from Ulta Beauty's like in-house brand. A set of tweezers, these are from Japanesque. Eyelash curler, I got this in Vietnam. So the brand is like Vicosi, but I have no idea if you can get this in the States. I just like that it has this spring. It just makes curling my lashes feel a lot smoother. This sponge is one of my favorite sponges. It's from Orsay Cosmetics. It's just their sponge. I like that it has a flat top and it is just really soft when it is damp. And I'm also bringing some hair clips to clip my hair back when I'm doing my makeup. These are from Chunks. So that is everything. I'm going to try to see if I can pack all of it in this bag in a way that will fit in the <laughs> larger base bag. I think I'm actually not going to bring the lashes. I just honestly don't think I'll use them. I think I'll probably be a little bit not in the mood. They're a little bit finicky for me to work with. So I think I'm just going to not bring these. Everything else is in here. I'm trying to like maneuver it so all of the things like kind of lay flat. I'm going to put the brushes in this top portion up here and try to close it. This is definitely too big. I think maybe I'll just put my makeup in my backpack or something because this is just a little bit too big for this base bag specifically. I didn't think I'd manage to fit everything in this bag, but you know, at least we tried. I think the makeup is going to be fine in my backpack as well, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I was planning on packing my Dyson Airwrap separately anyway. So this is everything that I'm planning on bringing to New York with me. Um, I'm really excited for New York. This is going to be a really fun trip. I am going for 10 days, so kind of a long time, which is why I wanted to make sure I had enough shampoo and conditioner. I still need to work through all of my outfits and pack my clothes, but at least my skincare and my makeup are taken care of. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And I do pack with me relatively often because I do go on quite a few different like work trips and vacations throughout the year. So if you uh, want to see more of these, I will have a whole playlist linked down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a good one and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.